Hey, this is Jeremy from Red Leaf Designs on a beautiful bluebird spring day in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Uh, we just got back from Canucopia and we happened to have covers out on the vehicle. Um, and I thought, or on our trailer, and I thought I would take this opportunity to show you some of the differences in covers as they age. Um, let me flip this camera around. There we go. Uh, the first cover I want to show you is an original, like a true original Bag Lady canoe cover. Uh, one that we bought from Sioux Audet before we took over the business, uh, or took over the product line. And it's a royal blue cover for a V1A mixer. And I don't know if you can tell, but it uh, it is definitely not royal blue. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to be rendered on the camera. It definitely looks faded. The fabric is still nice and thick. Um, it's still doing its job. It's still blocking sunlight from the boat. But if you want to see how much it's faded and whether your cover is still actually a safe cover to use for your boat, you can just look at the inside of it. That is the difference between three years of, three and a half years of hard sun and the inside of the cover. So this is the original color of the cover. Um, if you can see the original color of the cover on the inside of the fabric, the inside of your cover, then it's still fine to use on your boat. Um, you really don't need to worry until the inside starts to fade. If the inside starts to fade, it means that the cover's broken down enough that ultraviolet light from the sun is getting all the way through the fabric and it could be reaching your boat. As long as the inside of the cover is this color, you know, the original color, you know that your boat is protected because the sunlight's not making it all the way through. If it was, this would be fading too. So this is three and a half years on this cover. I would say that it's probably got another two and a half to three and a half left if we kept it outdoors full time the way it has been used. Um, realistically, just because we do this uh, for a living and I, I can do it quickly and simply and cheaply, uh, I will probably swap this out for a WeatherMax 3D cover because this boat does live outside. So um, there you go. That's how you can tell whether your polyester cover is still okay. And just to give you an idea of timeline, three and a half years of, of sunlight, uh, full storage outdoors on this cover. And it's even stored where the south facing sun or the south sun can get to it. So um, in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, that's about as harsh as we can possibly make it for testing purposes. Okay. Now the next one is another three and a half year old cover. This is WeatherMax 3D, um, and I don't know if you can tell because it's light gray, but it hasn't faded at all. So same amount of use, but it hasn't faded in the least. It shows almost nowhere. Um, it's got some dirt and salt on it from our, our recent trip to Canucopia, but uh, this is why we recommend the WeatherMax 3D cover for outdoor storage and transport if you're keeping it on your car all the time. Um, so all of our personal canoe covers at this point are being made in WeatherMax 3D. You can see two more WeatherMax 3D covers up there on top of the van. Um, I'm making them all out of WeatherMax 3D. If you store your boat indoors um, and you're just using it for transportation, this cover is going to last a whole lot longer. Um, you know, more than a decade if all you're doing is transporting. Um, so you can save the money and get polyester if you're just using it for transportation. If you do store the boat outdoors or it lives on top of your car for most of the summer, we would highly recommend the WeatherMax 3D. Um, and if all you want is the best outdoor storage protection possible, we'd recommend the Canoe Coat. Uh, that one's not usable for transport, but uh, I don't have one out here to show you. Uh, we don't have one currently on our own boats. So there you go. The difference between polyester after three and a half years and WeatherMax 3D after three and a half years of outdoor sunlight exposure.